Hello, I hope that you are having just the best day in your life. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Philip K. Dick short story called Upon the Dull Earth. Uh, and uh, this is like a like the King of the Elves. Uh, this is actually more of a modern fantasy than it is a modern science fiction. Oh, it introduces elements that are that feel more mythical uh, and uh, fantasy than science fiction. Although you certainly could say, well, it was science fiction. They were aliens or something like that. Um, although they aren't explained as such in in our story. Um, and after I read King of the Elves, I was like, I didn't know that Philip K. Dick did fantasy, even modern fantasy set in our world. Um, I thought he just did science fiction. And you look him up on his Wikipedia page and it says he's a science fiction. It doesn't say speculative fiction. It doesn't say science fiction and fantasy. Uh, so it's pretty cool that he has uh, the occasional story that's not what you would expect from him. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you right up front, uh, I, I think that this story is it my favorite in the collection? It's one of my least favorite collections in the collection. I'm only giving it a 7 out of 10. This guy's a master, though. Philip K. Dick is obviously one, one of the most influential people in science fiction history. Uh, so obviously this, this is a guy who can write, who's got great, great ideas. Uh, but this short story... Um, wasn't one of my favorites so far. Um, it's my least favorite story I've read in this collection. Uh, and uh, again, I'm only giving it a 7 out of 10. But 7 out of 10 is definitely something I want to recommend to you. Um, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's dark. I mean, it is dark. Uh, and it has a dark ending. Um, I'm not a fan of its ending. I feel that the ending of the short story uh, leaves you wanting more. Um, it's 22 pages long, and it took me about 35 minutes for me to read it last night for the first time upon the double earth. We're going to open up. We're going to have uh, two people that are a couple, and they're a very odd couple. And our point of view character is going to be the husband. Um, and early on, uh, they're going to have an odd conversation. Uh, and he's going to call her a witch. And she's going to say, you've been talking to my family again. Uh... Like, they think she's a witch. And there are going to be, um, there are these uh, creatures that are winged, that are summoned uh, from a beyond, like another dimension uh, beyond. And uh, they fly, and they're big. Uh, and Philip K. Dick is intentionally, uh, doesn't tell you what they are for like a page. Uh, but they're a key part of this story. And they arrive, and they drink sheep's blood that was available for them. And she tells him more about these winged creatures. And you'll find out at the end that they're like angels or Valkyries. He says, uh, you are a witch. And she says, don't you understand? I'm not a witch. I'm a saint. I can, you know, she can summon angels. Um, and that's like the, the end of the first like three or four pages into the short story. So I'll go ahead and leave you there. Um... You know, the ability to summon angels, that they're, they drink blood. You'll find out more about the angels, that they are been around for a long time. Uh, that other people are able to see them, uh, that have like this sort of second sight, uh, that are a gift they're born with. Um, they're very, very interested in her, um, as well as the blood. And then, uh, you know, a lot of fun stuff's happening. So, that, you know, it's, it's upon the dull earth. It's very, very interesting. It's very, very fun. It's very, very different. Um, but again, I found that there were some pacing issues with it. I didn't like the ending. And this is a dark modern fantasy. So if you're going into it, you know, this collection, just beware. Uh, and there you are. I'll leave you to it. Have you read Up on the Dull Earth? What did you think of it? Did you like it or dislike it? Did you agree or disagree with my take on it? If you enjoyed this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more of these that follow fantasy, science fiction, and horror. And then finally, hey, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my videos. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're being pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. 
So thanks again and have a great day.